Oh, here's a good uh, question, <clears throat> but it's it's awkward because um, typically we ask the question to rationalize the denominator, not the numerator. So typically the rule is we don't want any radicals on the bottom or the denominator. Sometimes, like in this question, they say rationalize the numerator, and what they're saying is for this time they don't want any radicals on the top. So. So to rationalize the numerator, I would take the expression that I have and multiply top and bottom by the conjugate. So it'd be root 5 minus 2. And I have to multiply both of them by that. So on the top, that'll be a foil thing. Root 5 times root 5 is root 25. Root 5 times minus 2 is minus 2 root 25. No, minus 2 root 5. And then plus 2 root 5 and then minus 4 all over. This would be 2 times root 5 minus 4. Okay, on the top, root 25 is 5. The minus 2 root 5 and plus 2 root 5 cancel, and then I have minus 4 all over 2 root 5 minus 4. On the top, 5 minus 1 is 1 over 2 root 5 minus 4. Uh, do they have that? Yeah, right there. So that's how you rationalize the, the numerator. It's the same as rationalizing the denominator. It's just in this case, they say, thou shalt not have radicals on the top. Typically, uh, when we're simplifying anything, when we say simplify, it means don't have a radical on the denominator. So typically, we don't do that question. And I would ask one like that on the test. <laughs>